In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make great YouTube thumbnails for your travel videos using Canva.com. And we are getting started right now. So we are already logged into our Canva account. We can create a design and then go and select a template. I think that'll be the easiest to start off with. The YouTube thumbnail or YouTube channel art will do. Go to the channel art. Okay. And then here we have a wide variety of options that we can pick as a template and then we can manipulate it as we'd like. So here we are not exactly looking for something that's a hundred percent of a fit on what we're actually trying to do. We're going to manipulate this and change it how we'd like. I'm going to go with this one over here. And as I mentioned, we're going to take this and I'm going to turn this into a border. Um, let's do that and we can move this text into the middle and where are we let's say this is a travel video for Hawaii and there we go we only need the one so let's take that down and then the border let's make some copies of this so control C and then control V and then we can put this one to the side and then copy this one and move the other one to the other side and there we have a border for our video i'm doing this now so if you do have travel videos you would be able to make a sort of template and all of your travel videos would have the same style around them which makes them very distinguishable to your viewers so this text here we can change that to something that's more distinguishable as a travel font we have people like Sam Calder who, who use specific fonts and there are other types of fonts also out there on YouTube that's all distinguished basically as being a travel font. So we're just going to look through the list here for something which is similar like this playlist script. That looks about right, it just needs to be much much bigger. And that looks about right, let's just center that again. Now this border is not the right color. To make a sort of borderless border, so these edges here will be rippled, we want to just change these this to white all the way around. And then your videos in your playlist or on your channel should all have a sort of rippled effect around them and it'll have a sort of consistency and that will just look neater and people will be able to distinguish it a lot easier. Okay that looks good. If you want to make the board a little bit smaller we can just move it up, move to the side, move this one a bit further down and then move this one also to the side. There we go. And this picture is obviously not of Hawaii. So I've already uploaded one here. This you can either get from your video, you can take a screenshot from your actual video and load that in you, or you can find a stock picture, this one I got from pixabay.com. You can then upload that in here and you can change the size of it, if you just double click on it. And I'm going to try and do something like like that so that we have the water just in the bottom there we have some sky still and then the wording would fall sort of on the hills uh, sort of on the hills that's not the best actually let me just make this a bit smaller rather control z there we go back good and that's much better we can just bring it down slightly Okay, that looks about right. Just to make the background pop out a little bit more, we can add, we can change the filter. This is already a filter of, on your edge. So this is how it looks normally. That's a bit too bland, so we're gonna try and make it a little bit more contrasty. We can up the contrast here, but that's a bit too much, and then we'll have to fiddle with a bit more things. A little simpler method. We can go to another one of the filters here. I see that festive is the most contrasty of the filters so we'll click that one and there we go so that is a Hawaii travel video thumbnail for YouTube easily and quickly completed you can then just go and download that when you're done and this is in 
This template is probably going to be a little bit too large, so you can then go to pick resize and shrink it down 75% or 50%, and then it should be good to go. So that is Hawaii. What's great about this type of template sort of system here that we're working with now is we can change our location quite simply. So if we are in, where are we in here? Let's say Sydney, I've got another picture for Sydney. So we just change that to Sydney. Drag in a picture here of the Opera House at night. Oops, okay, drag it in at night and then just drag the picture down. And make sure the right filter is on here. I think it is, looks quite contrasty. And there we go, now we have a travel video thumbnail for Sydney, created in a matter of seconds. And the same can be said, we can do that again. We can go to Cape Town. Oops, let's make that a bit larger and then we can drop in this picture here from the waterfront with Table Mountain in the background and that is centered quite well and that looks quite good and then we have a travel video thumbnail for Cape Town created in a matter of seconds as we've already created this sort of template we can do a similar thing with different types of styles for this border type thing here as well so if we go to a different type of template, so let's look at the YouTube thumbnail. There we have the YouTube thumbnail. Close those and once we go down here, let's say this one over here, New York, in our New York. This we can also manipulate quite easily. So let's just copy this page so we can see a before and after. Let's change these to white so that it seems as if it's transparent once you've uploaded it and then we can just rotate things and make them a little bit not as in your face as these ones are currently um, where is the rotate button oh, there we go and there we have two corners that are pretty much nicely rotated and then we can change this text here to New York City Okay, that font is actually quite nice and contrasty and let's just center this, find the middle, there we go. And this filter, I don't like this black and white so much, let's see how it looks normally. Normal's good. Epic is quite nice as well. Mm, I actually like Epic a bit more in this one. So let's go to Epic. See if we can move it a bit. I think we can have a bit more of the car in there. There we go, that's nice. Okay, and then just to give this a bit more contrast around the wording, we can add a element there, so a shape. Just give a dark background, so where's a square? Then we have a square. And then just go black. Send it to the back. Drag it over and move this a bit further down so that it's nicely in the middle, sort of. And there we go, we have a quick New York City travel video thumbnail for your YouTube videos. Here's the thumbnail that I just created now compared to the template. As you can see, you can just drag in your own pictures as well if you'd like. So. This is in New York City, but let me just drag one of those in Cape Town. You see, this wouldn't work quite as well with Cape Town because the, the big feature of Table Mountain would be covered with this black band, in which case we can change it around a bit. So let's just make Cape Town one version quickly. Cape Town. Let's do that. And then just drop that. And then we put that in the middle. Come on, find the middle. Catch. There we go. And there it's in the middle. That also looks quite good. Although I think if we make this a bit more contrasty, it'll look slightly better. Come on, load. There we go. Yes, and that looks a lot better, I think. So with a few minor tweaks, we can get something like this to looking like something like that for your travel videos thumbnails. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. 
If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech related slash how to related videos like this one. I'm David and I am going to see you in the next one. Ciao.